Alrighty guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be taking a look at the Blu-ray exclusives for the Super Mario Bros. movie and that that's just kind of crazy to say. I never really thought there would be a Super Mario Bros. movie um, but you know, here we are and uh, it was actually really good. I just saw it yesterday. Um, a bunch of uh, friends and I, we dressed up as Mario characters and went to see it and honestly, it was a total blast. It was so much fun. The movie is phenomenal. Um, I think as of today, it is the official highest grossing animated movie of all time. Um, and that's just, that's insane. I mean, it's only been out for like less than a week. That's crazy to me. Um, and yeah, and I, honestly, I mean, the movie is just fun. It's, it's pure fun. If you don't like the movie, like you just kind of hate fun in my, like in my opinion, like it's just fun. The movie is nostalgic for those who grew up on Nintendo stuff. And I mean, there's references to other Nintendo stuff too. It's not just Mario and honestly it's just a blast through and through uh the plot's a little generic but you know it's a kids movie it's not gonna be some like super big fancy plot i mean it's the plot's still enjoyable honestly the whole thing is just enjoyable it is so much fun so uh let's take a look at the uh the exclusives here so first up we have best buy uh there's no release date yet which doesn't really surprise me a movie just came out but it's a little it's a little interesting that uh, it seems like most retailers have already sh like shown off their exclusives for this movie, so that's a little interesting. But um, up first, we have Best Buy, and honestly, I think that the inside is really good, and I'm not really that big a fan of the front and, and the back, the kind of outside cover. I think the black border, or just the black kind of all of it being black is a little lame. Like, you could have done anything with this. Like, I mean, look at the inside, compare it to this. Like, this is representation of the movie, and then this is just kind of like, oh, it's just it's just a mushroom. Like, this, like the black spine would look boring on a shelf. Like, it's just like, you could have done a whole lot more with it. And, yeah, I think that this is one of the few instances where the steelbook is actually not that great. So, yeah, I do think the inside artwork looks really good. The discs, the discs look awesome, but it's the front and the back and... Yeah, there's it's just there's a lot to be desired here i think the mushroom is like a good little like just logo for the movie but it's like uh, like the could have done a little bit more color like maybe have like the background of like this like the kind of multicolor for rainbow road have it be in the background it's just like the black background just doesn't really work for me um but the inside's really good and yeah so that's really all i have to say about that one um we're gonna go to target next and Target, this is um actually the first Target exclusive I've seen in a long time. Target's kind of been skipping out on the exclusives lately, but um it's uh this one I think hang on real quick. So this one's 4K, which is why it's 3699. Um but this one is only um the Blu-ray and then the DVD, which is pretty standard for Target exclusives. They only really do the Blu-ray exclusives. Um and then yeah, I I like this cover, but I'm not a fan of lenticulars. Um, I think that this kind of being, uh, with Mario kind of being the only character on the front is a little, uh, you know, there's just a lot of Mario characters, you know, and it's just like, oh, okay. Um, you know, of course it's Mario, so you can't really get too mad about it, but again, kind of with the black, uh, spine, just a little, it's a little lame. You could have done a whole lot more with it. And then, um, I don't know how it looks in, in motion for the lenticular, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure it looks decent. I'm just not really that big of a fan of lenticulars. Um, I think if this was just kind of a standard, uh, front, front box, I think it would make for a nice exclusive, but honestly, I would kind of maybe just get the standard edition over this. Um, if we look here, this is what the standard is going to look like. And it's just the, the standard poster for the movie. But I think this is like, this just represents the movie better, you know, and it's nothing, against the exclusive i just think that this is kind of kind of better to be honest but i think that the best one in my honest opinion has to be the walmart exclusive this is a stellar walmart exclusive you get the it looks like you get the 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 um the standard blu-ray inside but then you also get this little star as a tin that you can put the movie in or maybe this, like, the star is just the case for the movie. But either way, this is awesome. And honestly, like, if you're getting a, if you're gonna get an exclusive, this is the one. 
in my in my opinion this is the one you're gonna get because it's creative it's awesome it's a cool little display piece if you're a big nintendo fan you can kind of like just display it and it's just like oh hey it's a cool little power star display and then boom you just it's it's just your mario bros movie and i think that that's that i think that that's really cool and honestly i kind of if it doesn't come with like the standard blu-ray case inside like it would kind of make sense but as, for me i would really like it to have to have that inside so i can you know put the discs in and then kind of put the the case on the shelf but i think that if it doesn't this is still the best exclusive in my opinion because it's just it's a unique way to display your movie and i think that that's really cool um you don't really get a whole lot of these like tins with like retail exclusives like usually they save the tins for like amazon so this is really cool i think um and yeah honestly if you're not gonna get the tin honestly just kind of go for the standard i think the standard is actually kind of the best option out of this one if you're not gonna get an exclusive so, yeah, I, I think that that's kind of a first for me for a little bit to kind of say, hey, the standard edition is kind of the best one. But, um, yeah, honestly, I, I don't know if this version will come with the standard Blu-ray inside as well as the tin, but um, I hope it does. And honestly, even if it doesn't, this is probably going to be the version I get anyway. So let me know what you guys think about um, any of these exclusives down in the comments below, and let me know what you thought about the movie as well. And I will see you guys in the next video.